the Apache 164 we well, nice so it's a bit a uh, busy week because I started this week with a Honda X-Blade 160 then rode the Honda Honda 160 now riding the Apache 160 and going to ride two more motorcycles which is the FZ 150 as well as uh, the Suzuki Jigsa quite a big week for me oh my god traffic traffic even though the fuel tank looks so big I mean, when I just try to hug the fuel tank with my leg I feel that the motorcycle is small <laughs> actually the handlebar of this motorcycle feels to be a bit low when compared to the other motorcycle which I was riding for the week mainly because man this is a racing motorcycle it demands you to go a little bit forward and grab onto the handlebars <laughs> I'm getting confused in one point that uh, the ignition is on now the engine is running but still I don't feel that it is running because in this kind of an ambient noise I don't feel that there's a engine running below and only when you rev it you get to feel that yes there's a engine running otherwise yeah why is this logo slightly misplaced I, I have OCD man it is slightly towards the left side so to talk about the seat height you look at this my feet is completely planted now feet left or on the right completely planted no 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 I'm on camera I'm actually reviewing this motorcycle see you <laughs> he was asking me this is Vespa right <laughs> because he couldn't find that TVS badge anywhere it's always that horse jumping everywhere all right it's it's a nice way to test the suspension okay I'm getting a feel that the front suspension is really nice and it could soak up the uneven on the road but the back suspension is slightly on the stiffer side the clutch action is very light surprisingly I was not expecting it that's one reason it's very light ideal for the city because it is much lighter than a Hornet that's what I could feel as you could see it is not a big deal to ride this motorcycle even with uh, this kind of a slightly racing stance oh the rotor likes to rev it hard okay it's absolutely loving it when I take it to the higher ups. Beautiful man. Oh. I'll just stop here for some time and I'll explain to you what all I observed till now. Beautiful motor, okay. I, I loved it a lot. Let's talk with the exhaust it is sweet and nice sounding I, I should say those who are interested in hearing the exhaust sound I'm recording it there make some noise in the comment section those who want the HD recording of this exhaust I'll be uploading it soon the braking capacity I'll tell that the front brake could have been a little bit better when you compare the other motorcycles in the segment it could have been a little bit better I don't say way bad and all it's good enough but it could have been a little bit better but the rear brake considering it is a drum good enough it is uh, it has a good amount of uh, braking power totally I'm actually satisfied with the braking capacity of this motorcycle so the riding comfort I have a, a slight observation over here so this motorcycle is actually wonderful for short riders because being 169 cm I find this motorcycle to be ultimately comfortable the one thing is because you can sit over here or you can sit behind and start grabbing the handlebar just like a sports bike one advantage is that when you want a relaxed kind of riding motion sit over here your foot peg is not there so you have it there grab the handlebar have a nice ride in the city when you want to see speed up sit behind grab the handlebar hug the tank and ride it but 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 for tall riders I have a news for you guys because I don't think a very tall guy will enjoy this uh, motorcycle okay uh, the reason is because 
yeah of course you will be able to sit over here and ride the motorcycle no problem but when you uh, if you are planning to sit on this motorcycle and have this foot peg your leg will be slightly crunched okay slightly crunched and if you tend to sit over here your backbone coming over here so one uh, observation from my own experience is that you are that last bone of the spinal cord will get pain so that's the truth so the last bone of the spinal cord will get some amount of pain this doesn't get when you just ride it right away if you just keep this motorcycle for a long time and if you're planning to sit over here and ride it you'll get that pain otherwise i think if you are able to sit over here and ride it no problem and one advantage actually sitting over here is that your butt will get more cold air and that's wonderful in some days now the pickup is actually i'm you know, taking it as a 160 cc engine it's it picks up really nice it has that grunt and it it gives a feel that you are uh, riding a sports motorcycle in the city that's one major thing that you see absolute fun motorcycle and uh, i could feel a slight amount of vibration over the foot peg as well as the handlebars only on the higher ups so there was this kind of a vibration issue in the early version of apache also but uh, the good news is that on the lower as well as on the mid part the vibrations are gone but on the higher side i feel a slight amount of vibration please don't uh, hate me for saying that a slight but it is manageable as i told the friend folks are absolutely brilliant it was able to soak up all the uneven on the road i uh, even ran through a pothole it was wonderful it soaked up everything back i feel it's slightly onto a stiffer side that's why i could feel that uh, bump on the seat and uh, another good news is that this is very good in cornering also so when you have a very plushy suspension you won't be able to corner it well but i'll say that it's not so much plushy or not so much stiff so that it gives comfort in the city ride as well as it is giving enough confidence while cornering if you would try to ride it in the way like a sporty manner you have absolute control on this motorcycle wonderful handlebar but i would have always preferred a clip on handlebars over this now to talk about the heating issue i was riding through the uh, traffic for some time really bad traffic and it didn't heat it up actually it's a new motorcycle so new motorcycles tend to heat a bit fast but this didn't heat much okay so in that sense i felt that this won't have that kind of heating problem now to talk about the heaviness of the bike i uh, i really don't know how much kg this this weighs okay but according to my height and my physique i don't find this motorcycle too heavy i'm not that kind of a very built guy i have a normal and athletic body so with this kind of a body i'm able to control the motorcycle i am not finding it more heavy and all obviously it's a street naked motorcycle it, it shouldn't be so much heavy now to talk about the build quality yeah let's see this i don't have any complaint on it i don't see anything vaguely designed or anything you see all these kind of plastic it's it's actually a hard plastic it's not just just a plastic so let's look at the speedometer now so i believe it gets two trip meters good thing man so it misses a gear position indicator i think and uh, yeah that's it i mean what else you require from 150 to 160 cc motorcycle and as i told the clutch feel is very light ideal to ride in the city condition the gear box is so well designed i didn't felt any kind of a false neutral and uh, the gear shifts are crisp so i liked it very way and now let's talk about the engine actually okay i'll tell you something 4v is 4 valve okay that means this motorcycle doesn't show any kind of stress even if you take it to the higher revs i actually witnessed it some time back so even in the red line it didn't felt any kind of stress but a slight kind of vibration which came to my foot peg other than that this motorcycle is absolutely wonderful i mean engine wise i'm i just enjoyed it okay i'll tell you something there are very few motorcycle in the segment okay 150 to 160 cc segment where you ditch your girlfriend on a friday evening like this and come for a review or a come for a ride if you have a super sport or a hyper sport motorcycle you always enjoy to ride the motorcycle so any day you are on it but you have a single cylinder 160 cc motorcycle friday evening you are not boozing you are not dating you are on the motorcycle means it is something special i have seen very less motorcycle in the segment another one i could say is that a Holy shit. I think TV has just blocked my word over there. If you want to know which motorcycle is that, go and check the comment section. The second comment talks about the review of the motorcycle. Obviously, the first comment talk about the 
people who gave me this motorcycle you could go and take a test drive or you know, if you have any serious buying plans go and catch them that's all so let me just hop on to my brilliant seat review let me just get on to it like how a conventional pillion will get onto the motorcycle oh, oh my god oh my god yeah the seating posture is actually good i don't find any problem the grab rail is absolutely in the correct posture only thing is that yeah <laughs> my hands are touching my bum that's all that means the grab rail is slightly closer to the seats but it's not a big issue so the pillion comfort is good actually the seat is not ultimately comfortable and all but medium comfortable and in a way that my hands are my legs are not interfering with the rider's hands if you see in this angle so that's a good thing you shouldn't have a very tall pillion sitting behind you and uh, if he is he or she is interfering onto your riding style it's it's a bad thing right so only request from me to the tall riders is that just go and take a test drive and get a feel of this motorcycle other than that it's a beautiful motorcycle and as i promised in the beginning of the video there is something big which i'm planning for in 150 cc to 160 cc segment see it is all smooth not even a single amount of vibration onto the handlebar or onto the foot peg or to the seat see this place is beautiful man i should come here often Okay, unfortunately the speeder is not connected. I'm sorry for that. As I told before, there is very few motorcycle in 160 cc segment where you could actually do a rev matching. In all other motorcycle you do a rev matching probably the <laughs> motorcycle may flip off. <laughs> I don't know, okay? wonderful man so as always if you have anything to tell me you could comment in the comment box if you like this video show some love in the form of likes and comments if you don't like this video you are free to dislike this video but just only one thing please let me know why you didn't like this review so see you in the next video goodbye oh my god sometimes the thing is like you have too much of traffic on the road okay and uh, you get a feel that you don't know whether your motorcycle is moving or not it's the same feel that you have it on the train when you are on the railway station that okay is this train moving or the other train moving yep friday evening i need to catch up with someone else goodbye